Okay, Shalom. Of course, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men who rule well, and the men who taught us this truth. Okay, Shalom to the elect. Shalom wa Barakim to the elect. Peace and blessings to the elect, all right? So, um, just wanted to make a, a you know short lesson. Speaking about the kingdom of heaven, all right? I just wanted to read some precepts on it. And, um, you know, speaking about mostly, uh, you know, the uh, the kingdom, all right? The kingdom of heaven, of course, you know, it being the kingdom of Israel. Okay, it's for Israel, okay? Because uh, I'm going to get into the scriptures to prove that. And also, I wanted to bring out real quick in Daniel's how the kingdom, all right, of Israel is going to be forever, okay? So... Uh, once Israel rules, okay, that is it. No one else is going to rule after that. All right, only the nation of Israel will rule. Uh, once they, once we get the kingdom, man, that's it. It's forever Israel's. No one else's. I'm going to start off with the first scripture in Second Ezra chapter six, and verse seven. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau, uh, we know according to prophecy, is you know, who the world calls uh, white people, man, the so-called white man, all right, he's Esau Edom, according to the uh, the Bible, okay, and it says Esau is the end of the world, he's the end of uh, a rulership, man, he's the end of a time period, it's locked, you know, and, uh, not talking about, because the end of the world doesn't mean that the world's going to be destroyed, that's not what it's talking about, all right, because according to scriptures, the earth is going to, uh, you know, abide forever, roughly paraphrasing to that in Ecclesiastes, all right, so it says Esau is the end of the world, end of that time period, right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? So Esau being in rulership lets us know that the kingdom of Israel is up next, okay? So right now he is in power. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, like it says in Job, all right? Well, after Esau ruling is uh, Jacob's turn to rule. And when Jacob, Jacob is... um is referring to Israel, symbolic of Israel, because uh, Jacob was the name of our forefather, and his name was later changed to Israel, all right, when he wrestled with the angel, okay? Which Israel means uh, Yashar Allah in the Hebrew, which means he, prince, power, okay? He's the prince of God. That's what the name Israel means, all right? So this is Isaiah uh, 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, right? Because the Lord is going to have mercy upon the nation of Israel, all right? It says here, we'll have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel because Israel is the chosen and that's just how it's going to be forever. And that's the way that the Lord sets it up. The Lord is very specific with what he deals with, all right? So Lakia had to stop the phone for a second. So like I was saying, how, um, you know, the Most High Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, all right, it's very specific, and he deals with the nation of Israel. That's his chosen people. That's the way he set it up, and according to the scriptures, that's how it's going to be forever, okay? The new and old covenant is with Israel, okay? So, it says, um, will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, all right, yeah, because, the you know, when Yahweh Shai comes back after the land of Israel is cleansed, all right, um, you know, the beginning with the elect, they're gonna possess their uh, inherit their their land again. Okay, so basically, um, like it says here, for Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. All right, so the Lord's gonna have mercy upon us because what happened was that right now the nation of Israel, you know, is being uh, chastised, man. All right, uh, by the way of curses, the curses that befell us. Okay. You know, we're serving our punishment right now, being in captivity under the heathen, okay? And, you know, the Lord's going to have mercy on us, man. The Lord promised us uh, that he was going to have mercy on us. You know, of course, uh, we know through the Spirit it begins, you know, with the elect, man. All right, through, through the words, that's how we know it, okay? So it says, uh, Will you choose Israel, set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, which those strangers are Israelites, okay? That's who it's referring to. All right, the strangers that is talking about that are cleaved to the house of Jacob, those are talking about Israelites, okay? 
So, verse 2, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Right? So, you know, because we were under captivity and, um, you know, oppressed by every single nation, all right? Every single nation had hand in, in doing something to us, all right? So we're going to rule over them, man, all right? Beginning with our Lord Yahweh Shai, the scriptures say he shall rule, you know, he shall rule them with a, a rod of iron, all right? He, it also says in Psalms 2, which I'm going to just get it real quick, you know, I'd rather not, you know, misquote it. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Right. So, you know, uh, the elect is joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, so they're going to get, you know, the same thing, man. All right. So the, the uh, Yahweh Shai, he's going to get, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to get, you know, all these different uh, things. You know, he's going to be over the heathen. All right. Well, he's going to rule over them. All right. With uh, his elect men. Okay. So, uh, this is Isaiah 14 and 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Right. Because I spoke about the curses that befell us in Salah, in uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. All right. One of the curses that we would be brought to Egypt again by way of ships, man. That happened. And we're here in America because that Egypt was talking about America. Okay. And what? Here we were, uh, we didn't have any rest. We still don't. Okay, we here we have sorrow and fear, man. All right, and we're in hard bondage still over here. Okay, and and what the Lord is gonna uh, take those things off of us, man. He's gonna take that hell off of us. He's gonna take that that burden of being in bondage off of us. All right, that's why it says, um, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, He's gonna take those things off of us. All right, and He's gonna put Israel back on top. All right. So this is Isaiah 60, let's start at verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, right? Because these heathen are going to serve us and they're going to build up our kingdom. Okay, point blank period. And their kings shall minister unto thee. Yeah, their kings are going are gonna to serve us. Okay, it's gonna, they're going to serve the nation of Israel. Because the nation of Israel is going to be over all these uh, uh, heathen. All over, the nation of Israel is going to be over all these nations, okay? Uh, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Right. And you see how the Lord is speaking about that great mercy, man. All right? Because he's going to have great mercy upon us. After all we did, he's still going to set us on top. You know, after all the sins that we have committed, he's still going to put us on top of everybody else. And not to mention, when we get the kingdom, it's ours forever. You know? That's that's a lot of mercy, man. After everything we did, we still get to uh, receive that mercy. We still get to receive the kingdom. You know? Verse 11. Therefore thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that they may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nations and kingdoms that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Right? Because these nations are going to serve us, all right? Uh, whether they like it or not, man, they're going to do it, okay? Because that's just how the Lord is set, setting it up, man. That's how he's going to make it happen, all right? The nations are going to serve uh, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go to the book of Daniel's, the second chapter. Actually, it's a lot. I'm going to go to Revelation 5 and 10. And then I'm going to end off in Daniel. So this is Revelation 5 and 10. And has made us unto our power kings and priests. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai. Because when you read up, you know, it's a little deep. to, uh, And it'll, you know, make the video a lot longer if I go into it. But it speaks about the lamb. All right. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. And even right above it, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. That's speaking of Yahweh Shai. All right. Which you can see in the corner over here. The proper depiction of Yahweh Shai according to the scriptures. Okay. So verse 10. And it had at Salakia and has made us unto our God kings and priests. And we shall reign on the earth. Right. That begins with the elect. Because you know when you read in Peter's it spoke about 
you know, uh, uh, you know, us, you know, being kings, uh, uh, kings and priests, man, a, a holy, a holy, actually, I'm going to get it really quickly, you know, real quick, because I didn't want to misquote it. So this is the book of First uh, Peter's chapter two, verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation of royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him. Who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Right. So the nation of Israel, of course, first off, beginning with the elect. Because, of course, in the kingdom, you know, uh, the nation of Israel is going to we're going to be a nation of kings and priests. All right. Uh, all of us, you know, but of course, we know that uh, deliverance, the first round begins with the elect. All right. We know that through the spirit, through the scriptures. All right. So, you know, uh, verse 10, uh, Revelation 5 and 10. And has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth, right? Because the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on planet earth, all right? And the nation of Israel is going to be a nation of kings and priests, man. Okay? Now I'm going to get the point in Daniel's how this kingdom is uh, forever. The nation of Israel uh, is going to rule forever. Daniel's 2 and 44, and in the days of these kings... Shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed? And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Right? And that's referring to the kingdom of Israel. Okay? Beginning with Yahawashai. Alright? Because he, you know, he is the only begotten son of the Most High Yahweh. Alright? And he's the one that's going to rule over the nation of Israel, man. He's going to be uh, over the whole nation of Israel. After him, you know, is, uh, of course, King David, man. All right. And we know that our, uh, the kingdom is, is um, of course, beginning with Yahweh Shai on down. It's going to be for the nation of Israel forever, man. All right. Because Yahweh Shai's kingdom and the elect is joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, uh, Daniel's last priest of Daniel's uh, 4 and 3. How great are his signs, and how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and his dominion is from generation to generation. All right? And I hope, you know, that, hey, I hope the point was made. I hope it was edifying, man. All right? So those were the scriptures that I wanted to bring out, you know, to show that the kingdom is, uh, the kingdom being for, is for Israel. Okay? Like we read in Isaiah. And Daniel's second chapter, and Daniel's the fourth, all right? Uh, brought out those precepts to to further show that it that the kingdom of heaven, all right, the kingdom uh, Israel's kingdom is forever, man. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men who rule well, the men who taught us this truth of the Holy Scriptures. All right, and Shalom, Barakim, peace and blessings uh, to the elect of Israel. Shalom.